Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Peekaboo Baby Blanket, which is a blanket seen here in this photo and I'll show you a little bit of it here. Um, this is the one that I have made. The blanket is comprised of a moss stitch pattern for the body of the blanket and then it it has a simple edging made with single crochet stitches and puff stitches. So this is a great blanket if you're looking for a beginner project. Uh, I love the moss stitch texture because it creates this solid, uh, breathable, al uh, almost woven look fabric. So this is a great blanket if you are a beginner and looking for something to make uh, for that special little one in your life. Now for this blanket, I have used the Worsted Weight Karen Cotton Cakes. So that's a number four weight on your label. It is a cotton and acrylic blend and uh, has these uh, color changes throughout. So it's a cake yarn. You're going to need approximately six to 700 yards of this worsted uh, weight yarn or a worsted weight yarn of your choice. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and then a copy of the written crochet pattern which is found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial on how to make the peekaboo baby blanket. While you're here please don't forget to subscribe. So to begin our peekaboo baby blanket you're going to take your worsted weight yarn and your six millimeter crochet hook and you're going to start by making a slip knot the body of this blanket is worked in rows so you're going to be working back and forth and turning your work at the end of each row so the first thing you're going to do is make a slip knot and you're going to start by making a foundation chain of 118 chains Once you have completed your 118 chains, you're going to begin row one. For row one, you're going to start by working one single crochet stitch in the third chain from your hook. So count in from your hook. There's one, two, three. And in that third chain, you're going to work your first single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one, skip the next chain, and work one single crochet stitch in the next chain stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across your foundation chain. So chain one, skip one, and single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, and single crochet in the next stitch. So repeat that all the way across your work to your final chain in that foundation chain. When you reach your final chain, you will place your final single crochet stitch in that chain and get ready to begin row two. At the end of row one, you're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work. Now for row two, you're going to skip that first single crochet stitch, which is where your chain two is coming out of. So skip that first single crochet stitch, and then you're going to single crochet in that first chain one space. So simply in that chain one space, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, and pull through your two loops. Your first single crochet stitch is worked in that first chain one space. You're then going to chain one, skip the next single crochet stitch, and work a single crochet stitch in the next chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet in the next chain one space. This is what's going to form your moss stitch pattern. So chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet in the next chain one sp uh, space. You're always going to be working your single crochet stitches into those chain one spaces. So you're going to continue that all the way across. When you reach the end of your row, you are going to work your final single crochet stitch 
into that final uh, chain two space. And it's important that you always remember to work your final single crochet into that chain two space. Otherwise, uh, your work will have uh, slanted or uneven edges. So always remember, place that final single crochet into that chain two. At the end of row two, once you've worked that final single crochet, you're going to chain two and turn your work. So at the end of your row two, remember to place that final single crochet in your chain two space. You're then going to chain two and then turn your work. Now for row three and for the rest of the rows for the body of the blanket here after, you're simply going to repeat that row two. So skip that first single crochet stitch and single crochet in the first chain one space. Repeat that all the way across chain one single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, all the way across. Uh, when you come to the end of your row, single crochet in that final chain two space, and then chain two and turn your work. So you're going to continue that moss stitch design, that moss stitch pattern, repeating row two, until your work from the beginning measures approximately 26 inches, or until it measures your desired length. Okay, once it reaches 26 inches, you're going to fasten off your work and then weave in your ends. Okay, so now you will have worked uh, the body of your blanket worked in this moss stitch and you will have worked approximately 26 inches or your desired length and you have this solid um, square piece of fabric. We're now going to begin working on the edging of our blanket. So with the right side of your blanket facing you or whatever side you would like because both sides will look relatively the same with the moss stitch. You're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch in the top right hand corner stitch. And then you are going to chain one and you're going to work a single crochet in that first stitch and then in each stitch and chain space all the way across. When you come to your corner stitches, you are going to work three single crochet stitches in that corner stitch. You will then turn your work so you're working along this rough edge and you will evenly work approximately 115 single crochet stitches evenly along this rough edge. If you need to add more or less, that's okay. Just remember how many you've added because you'll want to add the same number to the other side. Then you will work three single crochet stitches in the next corner, single crochet along each chain space and single crochet space stitch along the other end and then work another 115 up the uh, other side of your blanket, the other rough side. When you come back to that first corner you're going to work two single crochet stitches in that first corner and join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. At the end of round one you will not turn your work. Okay. I'll let you work on that and meet me back here when you're ready to start round two. At the end of round one, you're going to work those final two single crochet stitches in your corner stitch and you're going to join with a slip stitch in your first single crochet. For round three, you're going to chain one and you're now going to simply work one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around, working three single crochet stitches in each corner. Now that you have uh, worked that sort of foundation round of single crochet stitches, it will be much easier to place your stitches. So just work one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around working three single crochet stitches in each corner. When you come back to your first stitch there in round two, you're going to uh, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. 
At the end of round two, you are going to uh, join in the first stitch with a slip stitch, and then you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now for round three, we're going to start working those puff stitches. So you're going to start by working a single crochet stitch in that first stitch and a single crochet stitch in the next stitch. You're then going to work a puff stitch. To work your puff stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to do that for a total of four times. So that was the first time. You're going to repeat it, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. Repeat, yarn over, insert your hook in the next and in the same stitch, yarn over and draw the loop. That's the third time, and you will now have seven loops on your hook. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook in that same stitch, yarn over and draw a loop. Once you have a total of nine loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all of those loops on your hook. You're then going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three, and then work another puff stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop. Do that a total of four times. Once you have nine loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all nine loops and then work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to continue that all the way around your blanket while in each corner stitch you're going to once again work three single crochet stitches. So all the way around your blanket repeat that pattern, a single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then puff stitch in the next. When you come to your corner stitch work three single crochet stitches in that corner stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around your blanket. When you come back to your first single crochet stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, chain one, and once again, turn your work. At the end of round three, you will have joined with a slip stitch in that first stitch, and then when you uh, turn your work, you will see that these puff stitches appear on the opposite side uh, of your work, which is now on the front of your fabric. Now what you're going to do for your final two rounds, you're simply going to chain one and uh, repeat round two and single crochet in each stitch, each single crochet stitch and each puff stitch all the way around, working three single crochet stitches in each corner. So you're going to do that for a total of two more rounds. Uh, at the end you will join with a slip stitch and fasten off your work and then weave in your ends and at that point you will have completed your peek a -boo baby blanket. So thank you so much for joining me once again. The free written uh, pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.